Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about the vast majority of this market. Um, but I have four cryptocurrencies that I want to show you real quick the price of, because we're going to utilize this video as almost like a historical snapshot. I will come back to this video at some point in time. Um, don't know when, but we will come back. And we will look at what the prices of these assets are later on compared to what they were in this video. I'll probably give it about like six, maybe like 12 months or so. Um, I think that that would be a viable time frame. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to start with XRP. It's trading at about 37 cents. It's up about like 9%, 9.5% or so. Um, XLM, barely up. I mean, this thing has still been kind of just going sideways last three months have been uh brutal for this token but um came down to test about like eight eight cents almost perfect opportunity in my opinion to be completely honest with you guys i mean go back to some of the all-time highs here this could very well be almost like a 10x from here uh q and t q and t came down to like 94 cents almost or 94 dollars almost 95 dollars exact uh again we are still looking for some nice lows on some of these altcoins, but these are some uh, incredible prices that they have come down to. Um, HBAR almost coming down to $0.04. Cents. Perfect area that we have been addressing and looking at. Uh, do I think that it stops here? Uh, it's questionable. We definitely have to wait and see. I mean, there's not a ton of support back here at those prices. We would be more so looking at three cents, which it could very well be a possibility. Uh, but nonetheless, what I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about is um, the generational bottom of crypto. So as everybody is looking at everything on a different perspective. So first off, I've been mentioning a few things around the dollar. I've been mentioning a few things around indices, around the economy. We've been talking about a possible blow off top. We've been talking about a possible, you know, major cycle run here soon. Uh, one thing that we have been looking at is, of course, the U.S. dollar. We have over here from Game of Trades. He's talking about the DXY weekly RSI is at the lowest level in all of 2022. A repeat of the fractal would mean the dollar is going to give back a lot of its gains. And uh, here you guys have the uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, we don't know where exactly this is going to go, but we have been following it pretty closely at the time that I am recording this video. Uh, I have been looking at this on the three day span, by the way, and um, it currently is making a green candle, not like a crazy green candle, but we've been watching to see if this is going to uh, find a lot of support at around this range that I have on the uh, chart in terms of this horizontal line. It just recently retested on a three day span the uh, 50 EMA, which is this orange line. Um, so far, so far we retested it and uh, kind of rejected off of it. So we are still watching the dollar very, very closely, especially throughout this entire month. Uh, we have the S&P 500 as well from Game of Trades underscore the S&P 500 is coming close to a pivotal point. Volatility is battling a key level Hawkeyes on the chart or on this chart. And here you guys have it. So, uh, you know, if we do have this false breakout or a breakdown and we start to kind of break out, this would be pretty interesting in terms of volatility. Um, and right now, as we really kind of look at all of this market, I'm really kind of centered around what's happening uh, in terms of like, emotions within this market and the sentiment has been completely trashed for the last couple of weeks uh, and the FTX situation didn't really help much um, I remember when a lot of people were really kind of hopeful around the Fed pivot again that's been up in the air uh, we do see over here and there is your, your mass unemployment now we can talk about a pivot and we do see Amazon has said to plan to lay off thousands of employees and this is a massive company I mean everyone knows about Amazon and their cuts are approximately 10,000. So this is huge. Now, a lot of people will probably play into the opposite side around this and say, well, hey, things are going to get a lot more negative around crypto. Th you know, things are going to start to drop massively. What I have been looking at is uh, the distractions around crypto. So I tweeted this out 
earlier yesterday and I said, why are people just now realizing that Kramer said to withdraw money from crypto? Oh yeah, that's because everyone has been distracted by the FTX situation. And um, I even said it over here, this is actually one of the most bullish indicators during all of this, to be honest, because this was happening on November 12th at around roughly 1.16 a.m. And uh, this is where CNBC posted this um, article. It's now unavailable, by the way. It got deleted for some weird reason. But it was, Kramer advises investors to cash out on crypto while they can. And uh, there you guys have it. I don't even know if, sorry, I did not even mean to click this uh, individual's name. I don't even know if you could still look at this on CNBC. So apparently, yeah, you can. Um, but I, it looks like this got... <laughs> I, I, it's kind of weird. Like they remove things like this all the time, but Kramer advises investors to cash out on crypto while they can. And uh, it's just comical because this is a perfect um, buy signal. It has been one of the most bullish signals around crypto. Do I think that we have a little bit more pain? We could, but I do think that we are nearing our bottom. In, in fact, I think that, you know, much lower is... Um, you know, it's minimal. I think that the damage would be minimal from here on out. Uh, but we do see over here from Credible Crypto, peak fear, uncertainty, and doubt at the moment. It's understandable why. This is some serious stuff with all of these exchange issues. That being said, it's going to be okay. Crypto isn't going anywhere, and I completely agree. Do you see also over here, events this month, most tech layoffs announced since 2001, $30 billion collapse of crypto exchange FTX, US credit card debt hits a three, uh, $930 billion I, well, as Fargo mortgage business drops 90%, 37% of small businesses in the U.S. unable to pay rent. We are in a recession. You guys probably remember this uh, tweet from the other day in my video. Well, since then, we also had this tweet come out just 11 minutes ago. Current situation, stocks trading like inflation is gone. Bonds trading like we are in a bull market. Gold trading like inflation is 20%. Oil trading like we have deflation. VIX trading like nothing is happening. Crypto trading like it's 2008. It's only a matter of time before crypto does a 180 turnaround. I'm telling you right now, as we really kind of look at this market, there is a big bearish um, sentiment around this entire market. And it's simply because, you know, everyone is concerned on what's going to happen next. Most people are looking at the layoffs. Most people are looking at the economic, um, you know, fastening around crypto, around the entire GDP, all that kind of stuff. Like here you guys have, we now have the two consecutive quarters of negative GDP, lowest earnings growth since quarter three of 2020, uh, fastest falling housing market since 2011, $2 trillion in crypto losses and collapse of FTX. Yet the Fed just said a soft landing is possible. The Fed has lost control. Honestly, as we look at things, it could do a 180 turnaround from what everyone is expecting. We do see over here from Credible Crypto, yet again, the general consensus at the moment seems to be much more damage to be revealed. Multiple exchanges likely to come out as insolvent. Tons of projects likely to fail due to FTX involvement. Multiple years to recover, etc. People are expecting the absolute worst and are positioned. Therefore, any new information that indicates relief and or that things may not be as bad as expected may result in market participants suddenly repositioning. This could ignite a relief rally that may snowball into something more. Exhibit A, CZ Binance announces relief slash aid to distressed projects. Market receives new information that tells them things may, uh, may not turn out as bad as expected. Market participants start to reposition. Market rallies oversimplified. But this is why bottoms are... and Or, um, sorry, this is uh, why bottoms are... I forgot to go down. I apologize. Uh, found at times when most aren't expecting it and when sentiment is one-sided. Much more work to do from a technical perspective before we get confirmation of any actual bottom. So don't take this as more than the above. More on what I want to see on technicals tomorrow. And yeah, we still have a while to go. I will say that. Um, the interesting thing is that we have been seeing a lot of bullish factors around this entire market. In fact, somebody in that uh, thread just commented about Elon. I said bullish statement. I quoted it. It says, Justin, Elon Musk says Bitcoin will make it, but might be a long winner. I still think that as we look at this market, I still think that we have a little bit of ways to go before we could say, okay, yeah, sure. We're extremely bullish. Everything's going to go to the moon, blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, the gains that we are seeing today off of a few moves are probably nothing. Um, but I will say, as we look at Bitcoin and as we look at this market, we probably have a little bit more pain to go. 
Um, but like I said, I think that the downside is minimal from here on out. Um, I don't think that we are going to go down to 3K and 5K and 8K like everybody's calling for on Bitcoin. I think our bottom will be realized around possibly like 14K. I think that we might have a little bit more, uh, you know, downside here, but it's going to be, like I said, minimal. I mean, we came down to about like 15.8K. You see the chart? I mean, this looks extremely bearish, but I want to see these deep corrections like we've seen back in March of 2020, like we've seen during the 2017-2018 bear market. This puts a bottom in. This really kind of starts to say, okay, well, let's build out a floor model. Let's build the floor. Let's build the support. And then let's pump and, you know, catch the entire market by storm. Like this is the perfect storm situation. This is the perfect setup for everything that is going to happen going forward. We have been looking at the time frames. Shout out to Rect Capital over on Twitter. Historically, Bitcoin tends to bottom around a year after its previous bull market peak. It's been a year since the November 2021 top. If there ever was a time to pay attention on the market to, re, uh, to uh, position yourself for maximum return on investment, it is now. And yes, 100%. I agree. I think that right now we should all be paying attention. I think that we should all make sure that we are you know, taking advantage of this entire market, DCAing in on major drops down, and uh, really kind of position ourselves for generational wealth. Um, and a lot of people will say, like generational wealth is just a, a buzzword. It's, you know, a thing to get views. It's this, that, it's clickbait. The thing is, is that, you know, generational wealth could easily be, you know, a 100x on some assets. It could be a, a 10x on some assets, depending on how much you invest. Everyone has their own sort of uh, definition around this. To me, generational wealth is something that I could take the money out and create massive passive income. And I will always have investments in crypto. Crypto to me is going to be a lifetime investment to me just because I see the value proposition behind crypto and the technological advancements behind it as well. But having that wealth where I can go and invest in real estate and buy a large portion of real estate and have a portfolio built up around real estate as well during the worst time for, again, most people will look at it as the worst time for um, real estate. But the thing is, is that we want to see a, a real estate market crash. That way we could come in, scoop up and buy a ton of real estate. That way we could have passive income where we could take the money from that and reinvest it and have our money work for us instead of us working for money. That's the end goal. That's always been the end goal. That should be everyone's end goal. But also, as we look at things happening around this market, I think everyone is trying to predict the same exact thing. But the problem here is that everyone thinks that the markets are terrible, that, you know, we're going to crash even more. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We do see over here from, uh, you know, Rob Art, we do see the institutional machine is doing what it's always done, scaring retail, making the small fish sell to the whales and sharks, uh, or sorry, so that the whales and sharks can buy cheap, then change the narrative, make retail euphoric so that the whales and sharks can sell high to the small fish in bulk. And that's exactly what we are going to do on this channel. That is exactly what we do during a full on bull market. We are going to sell near the top. You know, during 2021, we were all caught off by, we, we, we were caught off like that. That's it. You know, I, I was expecting a, a major, you know, rally. I was expecting much higher prices. Um, Bitcoin got exhausted and we ended up coming down. I was expecting a lot more, but this time is completely different. We are not going to get cut off. We are in here. We are at in here at the best time as well. And uh, we just seen a full on market reset. And now it's time to position ourselves for the greatest, you know, time. And also, we are ahead of the general public. When the general public is coming in, FOMOing in, pushing our bags to new heights, that's where we should take a step back and say, okay, it's time to start our exit plans. It's time to start exiting the market and uh, preparing for the next major bear market. And uh, I even said over here, like what percentage of retail is still a part of this market at this point? I believe that the last flush is in progress slash nearing its end. The bottom will be realized in with, with or sorry, in within the next two to four weeks if we haven't already seen it. And yes, this is my general consensus around this entire market. As we look at all these altcoins, as we look at everything happening around this market, yeah, we might have a little bit more pain, but I do believe that within the next two to four weeks, our bottom will be officially in. I don't think that there's a large percentage of retail still in this market. I think that most of this market is gone in terms of the retail sector. Uh, sure. Do we still have individuals within this market? 100%. 100%. I mean, like, listen, like you guys are watching this video. You guys are technically, you know, considered retail just like me. And we are in here. 
we are all a part of this market right now at the best time. If you are here, you know, I know that the prices aren't, you know, like, okay, well, I'm going to retire. No, that's not the prices right now. But the prices right now are, okay, well, if I'm going to average in and I'm going to be buying these altcoins right now, then maybe in, give or take, a year, maybe even a year and a half, then I'll be able to retire. That should be the goal. That should be the idea around this market. A lot of people have a, a negative outlook on this market right now. I have such a bullish outlook on this market. I'm so excited to be in this market right now. I think everyone should be excited to be in this market right now as well because the, the market cap for crypto is sitting at around like $800 billion. And like when we look at the next major bull market, like this market could easily be worth five to ten trillion dollars and it is going to be extremely exciting for those that are a part of it from the start so with that being said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always up to you all have a beautiful day beautiful night if you guys are on this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys